Hey there, if you've connected your GitHub workflows with AWS, you might have created a user in AWS and shared access keys and secrets with GitHub. That's not optimal, user permissions can change, and you need to rotate these secrets. There is a better way, let's try to solve this with OpenID Connect. That way you don't need to share user keys or secrets. GitHub has a nice documentation for this, I'll add a link in the description. Let's find the URL for the provider, it's here. Let's copy it, head over to the console. Select Identity Providers. Select Add Provider here to the right. And press here Open ID Connect. Input the URL here. And get a thumbprint. And then we need the audience here. Let's add that to the console. And then we add the provider. Here it is. Next, we need the role. So let's head over to roles. And on the top right, create the role. Let's use the wizard for web identity to help us. So there we select the provider and the audience. And next. And for now, let's just skip the permissions. And here we have what we need. But we want to target our GitHub repository specifically. So let's copy this and press edit and go back to custom trust policy because we want to inline edit our stuff. So the conditions here are not the conditions that we need. So let's delete this out. Let's go over here to the documentation. Let's copy this con these conditions here. Paste them in here. And here the repository is gonna be copy cup and guess the name now we press next and here we select the permissions the permissions that we need so i need these two for connecting to ecr and i'll press next and i'll select the name github to aws oict and create role Here is our workflow, and here we're configuring the AWS credentials. Here is the access key and secret, and we don't want that anymore. We need something else instead. Let's head over to the documentation, and we need some permissions. And this is for requesting the JWT token. So let's add that, and we put that here on the top. And then we go back, and let's scroll down here. We need something else. We need to assume the role. Let's copy that. Here we need to assume the role. And here we need the ID of the role. So if we head over to the console and find our role, here is the ARN. And let's copy that. Let's head back to the code. And add this here. All right, so now let's create a pull request and see if this works. I'll create a branch, then I'll add the files and commit. And let's push this. And create a pull request. And let's wait for the builds. Now we can merge. And let's look at the action. Here it is. And here it is. The job finished and pushed the images to Amazon ECR. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next one.